Yes, and please only do that when it is safe outside. We've had some showers moving through associated with Crystal Ball, but the storm structure itself is not really that of a tropical storm, but more likely more like a subtropical. In other words, where do we find the strongest winds? Not near the center. Where do we find the heaviest rainfall? Again, not near the center. This is not a classic tropical system by any means. As a matter of fact, some of the heaviest rainfall associated with the center of the storm here is well off into Florida. Florida had a number of reported tornadoes, including one in downtown Orlando. And in fact, some of the stronger storms are actually out in the Atlantic Ocean associated with, again, the broad overall circulation of what is kind of embedded within or crystal ball is embedded within an overall circulation that is moving right now, generally all to the north. The storm itself will be crossing the floor of the Louisiana coastline sometime probably on Sunday late afternoon, early evening. Now, if we start to see the structure trying to get a little bit better developed overnight and early tomorrow, then we would likely see those stronger tropical storm force winds near the center and maybe even some of the heavier rain. If that does not happen in the next really 18 to 20 hours or so by the time it makes landfall, then the strongest winds, heaviest rain are going to be well off to the east. And as Alexandra mentioned, once the storm even moves northward, we are still on the wet side and we will still see rainfall being uh, kind of dragged in from the Gulf. And so rain coverage and maybe at times intensity will be on the heavier side even on into Monday. Look at this. This is the center of the storm. We're looking out at some buoys and oil rigs. Look at the wind speed around and very near the center of the storm. 15, 35, some gusts near 34, 18. There is definitely circulation here, but the strongest 50 mile an hour winds, not even close to the center. Dry air has also been playing a big role in that. And as we've been talking about the fact that if this dry air is able to kind of totally cut off the circulation of crystal ball, then we may start to see it intensify. You may start to see those storms getting a little bit better developed around the center and perhaps even some of the stronger winds kind of contracting toward the center because at the moment that is not happening. We do have some rounds of showers that have been moving through for most of the midday and evening hours, but what has not been bad is you get a lull. Few showers at times have heavy downpours and then a huge break. If we get that kind of pattern tomorrow and Monday. Now we are going to see more coverage, but if we have that kind of pattern, then it's not going to be nearly as bad in terms of rainfall accumulation. We're going to still see some high rainfall uh, or excuse me. We'll still see some high rainfall totals, but over a couple of days time period, that really isn't all that bad. Uh, five to 10 inches of rain can be a lot, but again, if we kind of spread that out through Monday evening, even going into early Tuesday, we can kind of handle that if we pace ourselves. We're likely to see though greater coverage as we head into the day tomorrow, kind of overnight and on into tomorrow. We'll start to see those heavier downpours and really the big key is where do those heavy bands start to set up this model. And again, a lot is going to play into this as it starts to make landfall, kind of indicating the North Shore and Mississippi. Not necessarily that's where those heavier rains will be, but we may see some of those bands kind of setting up in those locations. Right now we kind of have a wide spread spread of around six to eight inches possible as we go into the uh, kind of day tomorrow as well as on into Monday. And we are, are all under a moderate risk of some flooding rains as we continue on through Monday. Well, our graphics are kind of jumping back and forth here. Winds have been picking up kind of breezy, certainly nothing at tropical storm force. However, at times we do have some locations getting near tropical storm force. So the gusts have picked up at times, but so far we have all been below the tropical storm force. We're going to be watching for the uh, risk of maybe some of those heavier, stronger winds, especially as we get into the overnight, but a little more detailed look at the impacts and the forecast. Here's Alexandra. Hey, thanks, Chris. Yeah, we are looking for the chance for those downpours as we get again, as Chris said, into uh, Sunday and into Monday as well. This is just one model showing up to about three plus inches of rain. And as Chris mentioned, that could kind of accumulate Sunday and maybe into Monday as well. So kind of the big picture uh, impacts that we're looking for with Crystal Ball uh, include the widespread rain looking like again, maybe three to eight or so inches, but a few areas could get more than that 
um, depending on if those rain bands set up over a certain location. Lakes, maybe one to three feet of flooding and the coast. The surge could be about three to five or so feet. We will have some tropical storm force winds, of course, especially near the coast and tornadoes may be a possibility. Again, it will kind of depend on how big that system does continue to be tomorrow, whether it can tighten up or not. And again, we'll be watching for the rain accumulations all the way through Monday. As for the storm surge, here are watches and warnings. This has not changed. If you've seen this in the past couple of days, we will see the waters higher as that storm approaches with those winds. Tonight, temperatures will be in the 70s, and tonight we're really expecting a continuation kind of of what we saw today, although overnight and into tomorrow, we may see it picking up and becoming a bit heavier. Tomorrow, temperatures in the low 80s, windy, kind of rainy feeling, and a very rough planner includes those rain chances pretty much through the day, and we may see those lulls in it as well. So on Monday, still a high chance for those downpours being pulled in by what will be a rapidly weakening system far to the north, back to Kind of normal weather by Tuesday and Wednesday and a little front by Thursday may make it a little less humid at the end of the week.